when you say things like that, your mind doesn't differentiate sarcasm and a joke and it's affecting you more than you know. Beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. Today, I wanted to sit down and talk to you all about the power of your words, the power of life and death and just choosing them wisely so that it can benefit you the most in life. I've been having some conversations really sparked this need to share with you all. So hopefully this touches at least one person today. And without further ado, let's get into learning how to use your words, which are your power to your benefit and not to your detriment. This video and this message is really important to me and it comes a lot from my own experience. Know that everything that I am telling to you, I don't think that I have mastered or that I'm perfect or better than anyone. One. I feel like whenever I help you guys grow, it helps me grow as well. And like we're really on this journey together. So let's talk about the power of your words. I think so often I notice that people use their words loosely and they don't understand the repercussions of speaking negativity over their life. But at the same time, they're wondering why there's this like trickle domino effect of negativity and you have to believe me when i say this it all starts with you and your words in your thought and what you give power and energy to the truth regardless of if you want to believe it or not is that your words hold a lot of power and you could really be changing your life by changing the way that you speak and so i just want to touch on that because i know a lot of times people are broke because they say that they're People are lazy because they call themselves lazy. People are terrible with money because they say like, oh, well, this is just, or I just, I just, I just, and we always justify saying those negative things. But something I heard a while ago, and I'm not sure who I heard it from, but it is that your mind cannot take a joke. So when you jokingly, you know, you might know that you don't mean it, but you say all these things like, I guess I'm just never going to get myself out of the situation. I guess I'm always going to be working a, a shitty job. I guess I'm always going to be choosing the wrong guy. I guess I'm never going to be able to have a life like that. When you say things like that, your mind doesn't differentiate sarcasm and a joke and it's affecting you more than you know. And so the reason I wanted to make this video is because I always need reminders for myself, but I also want to help you be able to reach your higher self. And although some people are aware of, you know, speaking positivity into your life, I think we forget sometimes and we need those gentle reminders. And so that's why I have me. I'm already convinced that I'm gonna have the best life ever. And you wanna know why? It's because I'm speaking it into existence. I have a lot of confidence in my words. And God has told me that the power of life and death is in the tongue. So just know that what you put out is what you get back. So if you're always feeding negative things out, they're going to come back and attach themselves to you. And I know you don't want that. I know you don't want that. So let's talk about ways to kind of change that behavior so that you can see things better and things will start to be better and you will start to receive better and just it's it's gonna feel so good once you start doing it i do want to say though that you have to un learn certain behaviors in order to be able to achieve this because if you have been going around for years speaking negatively about yourself about others about situations never seeing the bright side um and you might call that being a realist but if you've watched me before you know i love to say you have to sprinkle a little bit of delusion over your life even if you don't believe those things i want you to stop yourself dead in your tracks as soon as you're saying something that doesn't align with where you think you want your life to go and change and change that negative self-talk to something that's more positive. I really just want you to try it. I want you to challenge yourself to do this. It is unlearning and relearning behaviors because if you've been doing this for a really long time, it may not be first nature to always see the bright side. I know that you have seen those people who you're like, she's always so happy and happy-go-lucky type of person and they see the best in everybody type of thing. And I'm not saying that um, you need to see the best in everybody. And I'm not saying that you can't ever live in reality but what i'm saying is choose how you speak about things and watch how your life will transform before your eyes i do want to grab a cup of coffee so if you want to grab a drink or anything before we really dive into this then go ahead and make sure if you're watching this you like comment and subscribe and let me grab my coffee and then we're gonna really like dive in okay i got my look coffee mm. honestly 
Starbucks too, but back to the topic. If you have grown up in a household that's negative, you've had a lot of friends that are negative, um, maybe even teachers or just people that you have met along the way. And because they have been through so many heavy things, they kind of spill that over onto you and now you've adapted this mindset. It's time for you to change that way of thinking. You've built up a certain amount of negativity and it just comes naturally to you. Like you're just a pessimist. Um, it's in your first nature to think like the worst is gonna happen or to even speak like, here we go again. It's always this. I can never be on time. I can never catch a break. I always run into these type of people you know, in a negative way. I'm sorry because I'm not trying to tell you that everything is your fault, but you are contributing to that. So what I want you to start doing is instead of say you go on a job interview and you think, you know, you put your best foot forward, you came looking together, you arrived early and they didn't give it to you and you feel like it's because of a reason that you didn't deserve. Instead of being like, this always happens to me, I want you to say something like this has happened before but each time i know that it's been protecting me and leading me to where i'm supposed to go instead of saying like i'm so lazy this is why i'm gonna be fat because i don't ever get up and work out i want you to say i've done these behaviors in the past and they haven't benefited me and so what i've learned from that is it's on me and that i can't do this if you guys have watched my videos almost any of my videos, I talk about how much, maybe not in these terms, but let me share it with you guys this way. I have learned to rewire my brain to think the best. And as a result of it, I have noticed life improving for me. And I can say this honestly, because there have been seasons in my life where I feel like I'm the most positive person and I'm so just like optimistic and everything is gonna work out. And for the most part, it has and there have also been times when I've let one too many bad things come in and make me feel defeated and I start wallowing in that and start negatively talking about my finances, my friendships, my relationships, and just my situation. And do you know what I noticed from negatively speaking about myself? I continued to have the things that I said that I didn't want. For example, recently, my journey with the gym, I've been like, I just never have time. I'm not making the time for it. I just never can do this. I just feel like this. Now that I started talking to myself kinder and speaking to myself like I would a friend, having that in mind has helped me reframe the way that I speak. You wouldn't talk to your friend and say, wow, like, you're never gonna go to the gym and you're just so lazy and you're just so this. You wouldn't speak to your friend like that. At least I don't speak to my friends like that. I think I am probably the most encouraging person to my friends and I have to realize sometimes, why don't you give that same energy to yourself? You deserve that and you can be better to them when you're better to yourself as well. So speak to yourself, imagine yourself like your friend. You are your friend, you should be your very best friend because you are with yourself all the time. No one's gonna be there with you for you more than yourself. Try that, try try saying, speak. I'm gonna speak to myself like I would a friend when it comes to anything. You come into your space and it's dirty and it's just making you have all these crazy thoughts. You wouldn't go into your friend's space, I mean, hopefully not, and be like, you're so disgusting. You're so lazy, you never do anything. All you do is just sit here and lay in the bed all day. You would be like, hey girl, what's going on? Okay, what can we do to fix this? Let's let's look at the bright side. Let's look at the positive things. And we're gonna get this face together. And when we do, we're gonna feel so much better. And then we're gonna maintain it. And then, you know, you, you start speaking positive and you build up on the momentum of your positivity. And that is literally so life-changing. And again, I know some of you probably already know this, but I, there's a lot of you that I know don't know this. And like I said, I was having a conversation with my friend and I mean, rightfully so, there was a lot of things that were not going in the direction that she wanted to and she just started to feel defeated and just saying things like, I can't ever catch a break. I guess I'm never gonna get this figured out. I'm always last minute, I'm always doing this. And I said to her, stop it, stop. Do not say those things about yourself. Don't talk about yourself that way. Let's reframe it, let's focus on the positive. I think whenever we speak negatively to ourselves, we are big ass bullies. I'm sorry for my French, but like if you're watching this and you clicked on this because you wanna start changing the way you speak, ask yourself, do you bully 
yourself. Do you bully yourself? Because nine times out of 10, unfortunately, the answer is probably yes. And I want you to stop being a bully to yourself. Um, you know, they say you catch more flies with honey. And I think it's the same way when it comes to speaking about ourselves. If you speak to yourself positively with kindness and grace and you humble yourself, you'll realize you are more inclined. You want to do better. You want to be better. You want to show up when you bully and beat yourself up. You feel like you're being punished and you show up as a person that's ashamed and not proud. And you want to show up as a person that's confident and positive and humble and who believes that they can. So they do. I think speaking positively about yourself, about others is probably one of the most, is probably the ultimate form of self care and self love. And the way that you speak about yourself and love yourself is ultimately going to show other people how to speak to you and love you as well. Um, I'm so firm on this and we always make it a joke, but like, I do not allow my friends to bully themselves. I don't allow them to talk crazy to themselves. I will literally be like, ah, ah, what was that? Don't say that. And I will call me crazy, but it works. And I think that's why me and my friends have a relationship we do. I will tell them, say something positive about yourself right now. So I'm telling you, as soon as you look in the mirror and start doubting your self-worth, say something positive to yourself. I am a firm believer in talking to myself in the mirror. And I know that might be uncomfortable, but I urge you to try it. When you're at home by yourself one day, or when you just have a little bit of time, look at yourself in the mirror, stare into your own eyes and say great things to yourself. It is the most pure, the best validating um, experience. And every time I do it, I'm like, I need to do this more. And so I want you to take out the I can't and the I'm always and I'll never words, sentences that start like that, I want you to replace them with I am. Um, so say you usually don't go to the gym and you beat yourself up about that. I can't ever get there on time. I want you to say, I am going to start showing up. I am capable. I am confident. I am proud of myself in advance. I love myself enough to know that I'm doing this for myself. Um, Literally, sometimes I have to look in the mirror and just tell myself, I'm that bitch. Yeah, I'm her. I'm that girl. I show up for myself. I am kind to other people. I am loving. I am understanding. I am patient. I am good with money. I am this. I am that. You have to hype yourself up. You know that TikTok that's like, you don't need no, you better hype your bestie up. You better hype your bestie up. You better hype your bestie up. Now throw it, throw it, throw it throw it hype yourself up hype your bestie up your bestie should be yourself hype hype yourself up i just want y'all to love yourselves and i know for a fact that if you start changing the way that you speak about yourself your situations it will change if you start speaking that you are going to have your dream job and that you are going to get or you're going to get a raise at your job or you're going to start getting treated better at your job things are going to start shifting for you the power of life and death is in your tongue you put it out there and it is going to amplify. So make sure that you're putting good things out there and not bad things out there. Stop the negative self-talk and use your power to your benefit. Watch how everything shifts for you in the best way. Just watch, try it, try it and tell me. Tell me how much everything has changed for you in the best way. Recently, my YouTube journey has gone from a very small amount to uh, what I consider a larger number in what seems like such a short amount of time. Um, a lot of you have commented that a lot of you guys are showing up on, on comments for every video. And I'm so appreciative of this because this is what I prayed for. This is what I wanted. These are the things that I spoke into existence. And um, also with the help of my mom, we prayed together and she has prayed this specific prayer for me that God put me in the HOV lane. And I shared with you guys, the rate that I was growing at, I was still optimistic. I knew that I was gonna reach my goals, but I didn't think they were gonna happen this fast until my mom started praying this prayer with me um, and for me. And then I started also praying this prayer that God would put me in the HOV lane. And um, I started saying things like, you know, my story is not their story. Just because it, it may take someone 
months and months or years and years to reach this, that is not going to be my story. My God is going to make a way out of no way. The almost impossible is going to happen before my eyes. I'm going to be so surprised. It's going to be a blessing that is just like falling out the sky. Great things are going to happen for me. I started changing the way that I talk about myself in the sense of like, I didn't in a way consider myself a YouTuber because of whatever. I guess I was seeking outside validation, but I started calling myself a YouTuber, calling myself a content creator and actually like saying those things out loud made such a huge difference for me. And um, yeah, I just feel so happy um, and full of joy because I know now how much power there is in the things that I speak and put out. And so I want whoever's on the other side of this screen to be able to receive that. And so I think I could have structured this video a little bit better, but this is just something I was just super passionate about and wanted to just speak on. But so let me give you this to take away. If you struggle with speaking negatively, I want every single time that you have a negative thought or something that you say out loud for you to literally tell yourself no and go back and reframe it, rephrase it and say it differently. Even if you don't believe it, say it differently because again, your mind can't take a joke. And I also want you to remember whose you are and know that God created you in his image. So do you think that God created someone who just is terrible and horrible and is never going to be good enough and can never get things done on time and can never and is always doing the worst things? No, he didn't. He didn't. Your anxiety is lying to you and forcing you to believe those things. And um, the things that you speak ultimately affect your environment and your everyday life. So start speaking positively, even if you don't believe it. Say it until you believe it um, and watch how things change. Your words and your thoughts will become your actions. So saying that I'm a morning person, start saying that. I'm a morning person. I know my limits when it comes to overeating or overindulging with anything, whether that be drinking or going out. I'm happy to get up and start my day. It makes me feel good when I accomplish my to-do list. I'm proud to do the things that I said I was gonna do. I give myself grace and know that I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. Start speaking life into yourself. And if you need some help, my number one, my number one favorite thing to do is sticky notes. I am a sticky note girl, sticky note queen, if you will. Um, I will put sticky notes everywhere. I mean, like on the walls, on the doors. What is it where you flip your car down? The visor. So when I flip it down to look in the mirror and put my lip gloss on, I find a note there that I'm like, Ugh. they always find me on time right when I need that. Put one in your closet, put one on the back of your phone, put them when you open your laptop, in your drawer when you pull it out, put one where you get your keys from, in the pantry, on the inside of the refrigerator, anywhere that you need to, to just give yourself those constant reminders because what you're wanting to do right now is change your way of thinking and rewire your brain into thinking positively because once you do that, you are going to start seeing a great shift in your life and things are gonna start getting better. They are gonna start getting better. I'm excited to see how things transform for you when you start unlearning those negative behaviors and replacing them with positives. And some food for thought is people that you look up to um, that live the life that you think that you want to live. Ask yourself, do you think that they wake up every morning and talk shit to themselves? Do you? Do you think that they wake up every morning and tell themselves I'm a loser and I'm never going to succeed in life and this is just my destiny and I don't deserve more? No, they have more because they want more, they ask for more and they put more out. I just want to leave you all with that and just reminders, your mind cannot take a joke, okay? Saying you don't deserve more will keep you there and saying you do deserve more will get you there. Your words and your thoughts become your actions and we are made in his image do not forget whose you are do not forget who created you he didn't create just a hot mess of a person and to acquire wisdom is to love one's self so practice loving yourself a little bit better this week speak nicely to yourself say good things and put them out there and watch them come back to you stop yourself dead in your tracks when you are saying things that do not represent the life that you want for yourself. Speak 
as if it's already yours. Speak as if you are deserving and speak to yourself like a friend, like you love yourself, like you're your best friend and like you want the absolute best for yourself. Um, and just know I'm speaking positivity over you. If you're watching this video, I feel like you're already receiving some positivity. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me on a little chit chat. I feel like mornings are when I thrive, when I'm having all of these feelings. So I really enjoyed doing this video and I hope you guys liked it too. And I will see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Mwah. And watch me over until